Well, joining us via Zoom from <clears throat> New York is security expert Dennis Amakri. Dennis, good morning. It's good to have you on the show. Good morning, Varek. Now, if you look at uh, the papers this morning, um, it's a wash with this story about the protest and the response of the DSS, uh, saying that they have uncovered some persons plotting extreme violence in the process of the protest and that the end of it is to perhaps unsit the government in power as we speak. What concerns you the most with all of these narratives as a security expert? Um, well, uh, thank you very much for having me. Um, you know, Nigeria is at a very, very serious uh, crossroads. And... Um, Right now, I am happy that uh, there is a concerted effort by the security agents to see that uh, we come back to peace because um, the way it is going, you know, um, where, where some people are engineering uh, anarchy and uh, with that kind of uh, attitude, a lot of people are going to join in. Uh, you must have heard about uh, Kenya and Kenya and Kenya. Um, what is uh, really happening in Kenya? Uh, there is anarchy in Kenya, whereby people are demonstrating, okay, uh, because maybe because of uh, economic problems that they are facing, uh, but they are destroying their country. They are destroying their country. And that is one line that we have to draw, you know, because, yes, government is supposed to do what it has to do to make sure that everybody in the country have a good time, you know, at least survive uh, within reasonable means, uh, live in their own country and be proud of it. But when, when somebody is saying, let's burn down the house so that uh, we'll build another house later, you know, I, I think uh, we have to draw the line there and uh, make sure that um, we expose those people who feel that they have to burn down the house, uh, that everybody leaves, and then, of course, um, uh, look for a way forward. I'm just very happy about one very important thing, too, and that is uh, the response by the president or the presidency, because um, I've gone through a lot of um, protests in Nigeria, you know, there are processes where the leader does not even care about what's going on, uh, where people go there and do whatever they want to do, you know, burn down closed roads and stuff like that. And at the end of the day, the president or head of state does not care about what's going on. But I think we're having a president who is engaging. So um, uh, let, let us see how we can work together on this. So I believe uh, those who may have been foiling the protests are probably drawing from what has happened in Kenya and the results that they have gotten at uh, this time, uh, especially when you look at the fact that it's also spreading to Uganda. Uh, they are also protesting on uh, various issues affecting uh, the polity. But uh, let's talk about the fact that whenever people plan to protest, uh, we have uh, intelligence come out to say, uh, there is a plan to overthrow the government. Should there not be more focus on, you know, ensuring that the protest is conducted non-violently as against not even having the protest at all? You are very, very correct. And uh, that's how it happens in uh, civilized climes, you know, whereby people, um, uh, the government also recognize uh, the, the, the strength of protest. Remember, protest is a very important democratic system. You know, protest itself. Because it is through protests that citizens are allowed to exercise their civic responsibility. You know, and it is only through protest they can also tell government that, look, this is what you're doing and we don't like it and we, why we feel that you should put it better in a better way. So in fact, there are situations where government encourage protests, where, you know, protests are done to check public opinion, how people feel about a particular 
a particular uh, legislation or any kind of things that government is doing, you know, they, 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 they can engineer protests and see how popular it is, you know. So protest is very, very important. But at the same time, in Nigeria, the way we have had it is where, um, because of maybe the poverty level and um, uh, uh, inability of law enforcement to contain, you know, that particular uh, situation, you know, some good loans come in and then, of course, hijack the, the situation and then do whatever they want to do. Uh, you, you are right when you say security agents will always come out and say uh, uh, somebody is going to hijack, hijack the thing and then why don't you just go ahead and in fact deal with the hijackers so that people can protest. Yes, I think we, we should get there. We should get there. Um, about I am in New York right now and uh, uh, two days ago Days ago, we had uh, the, the the Prime Minister of uh, Israel visiting the United States, and uh, he was supposed to address the joint session of uh, the American Congress. And um, when he came there, there were two types of protesters. Protesters. One type were saying, "Save Israel, save Israel," and they were all wearing the same kind of t-shirts and they were all sitting down on the floor singing and the police was around them you know surrounding them and then of course they were singing clapping by the time they finished they stood up and left and then there's another set of people that were outside you know the the, the capital who were holding posters and saying calling them um, um, uh, Netanyahu, the Israeli Prime Minister, a murderer. And in fact, they brought an effigy of him and burnt it down. You know, even with the American flag, you know, which uh, the, the policemen were watching them and uh, looking at it and making sure that, you know, they don't cross the limits of what they're supposed to cross. Mm. You know, but in our own case, we'll have maybe by that time it gets to that burning. Uh, tear gas must have ringed out and then, you know, um, people will scatter running around. And of course, the hoodlums are waiting for that particular mm. moment mm. where everybody is helter-skelter and they will break into shops, you know, trying to loot, uh, steal and do all kinds of things. But one so would expect that um, we have had series of protests in this country.